We all love the look of buttery smooth animations, but something about the F-curve in Cinema 4D is just downright frustrating to use. And this is why today we're looking at the Motion Manager plugin for Cinema 4D. So let's first talk about what the plugin comes with and then how you can use it. There's three different categories, Ease, Bounce, and Elastic. Ease is your basic keyframing editor. Bounce is specifically for creating keyframes between your keyframes and elastic. This is similar in the way that it creates some extra movement, except this is done after your keyframes. Each of these categories come with different preset options and the ability to see how each of the presets work before you apply them. And you can also create your own presets, which I'll show you later in the video. So now let's take a look at how you can use it. So the first step in order to actually get the plugin is to make sure that you have it installed in Cinema 4D. If you don't know how to do that, you first go under edit and then preferences. Find your preferences folder, then we'll click into our version, find the plugins folder. And once you've unzipped your download, you just want to grab the motion manager file and then drag this into there. So once you've opened up the plugin, you'll see that we have a preview here of the keyframes, a bunch of different presets here, and they also show you what those keyframed presets will look like. But in order to start playing around, we need some animation to work with. So let's close this down for a minute and we'll bring in a cube. And I'm just going to keyframe this cube to come in from left to right. So I'm going to select our cube and I'm going to go to 1.5 seconds in. And I basically want to create an animation of it coming from the left and then moving off screen. So in the middle here, I'm going to create a keyframe on the X axis at zero. We'll go to the start and take this all the way to the left. And then all the way to the end, we're going to pull it all the way off to the right. Now, if we play this back, you'll see that we have our animation, but I'm not too happy with how this looks. So let's try out the new plugin. Now we can visualize the keyframes down here, but we want to go under window and then find the F curve editor. And now if we open this up, we can now easily visualize our keyframes, but we can't see what's on screen. So we want to dock this down here. And now if we go back to our extensions and open up the motion manager, we can start messing around by adding some presets. So like I mentioned earlier, down in the preset section, we're able to see previews of what each preset will look like. So let's say I really like the look of this first preset here. In order to use it, we want to first select our keyframes in the F curve editor, click on the first preset, and then we want to click set ease. And just like that, you'll see that it's instantly changed our curve. And if we hit play, we can see how it looks. Now, if we quickly set this to linear, we can see that this is a super flat and boring animation. And once we apply a preset, it has a little bit more life to it. Now back to the plugin, right next to set ease, we have get ease. Now get ease essentially means that if I edit how this curve looks inside the F curve editor, let's say for example, we really like how this animation looks, despite the fact that it's a little bit crazy. What this get ease button essentially does, if we select all of our keyframes and then select get ease, you'll notice that we have that easing pattern inside the motion manager. But I actually hate how that animation looks, so I'm just gonna reset this. I'll apply that first preset again. And now we're back to how it looked originally. So another really cool feature to know about is that you can actually edit the curve in the motion manager before you apply it. And of course we have the preview here that helps us visualize how it's gonna look. So let's say we're super happy with how this one looks. We'll hit set ease. And now this will quickly go into frame and then quickly go out of frame as well. Now we all love presets. They're easy to use and they save us a heap of time. So what happens if we really love this animation that we've created here and we want to save it as a preset? Well, lucky for us, they've made this super easy. All you have to do is in this little window here, right click and then click save as preset. And we can name this whatever we like so we can call this super fast. And then if we have a different animation applied and we want to use that one, it now appears down here. So we can click on this one, click set ease and now we have our favorite animation back. So now that we've got the most important category out of the way, let's have a look into the others. So so our next category is bounce. So like before, we have a preview window here. We have some different presets that we can use and visualize how they look. And we also have some different parameters here. The count parameter changes how many different bounces there are. There's a decay on the X and a decay on the Y. And if we go ahead and start creating some animation here, so I have a sphere and a plane here and we want to create a bouncing effect. So we'll create a starter keyframe while it's up in the air. And then once we go to frame 15, we'll make it hit the ground, set our keyframe. And now in our F curve editor, we have the position keyframes here. We'll select these, grab a preset, click set bounce and let it play out. And in just one click, we have a simple bouncing effect. And now let's move on to the next category. Elastic is the category that creates this almost jiggly effect between your keyframes. 
So let's open up a new project and we'll recreate that same effect and run you through how this all works. Now in our new project, we'll once again go to 1.5 seconds. We'll then create a keyframe on the Y axis. Go back to the start, put this back to 200, create a keyframe. And then at the end, we'll create a keyframe at 200 as well. And now if we play this back, it slowly goes like that and then back. Now we can open back up our F curve editor. We'll dock this down to the bottom. We'll zoom out so we can see our keyframes. Select them all, go into our extensions, bring back up the motion manager. And now let's take a look at the elastic. So same as before, preview window, parameters and presets. The count very similar to the bounce will change how your animation will look. And then there's a speed and the decay of the animation as well. But you'll notice the difference with this one is there's only one set elastic button. There's no get elastic button. So we'll just select a preset here, click set elastic and see how this looks. Now for a one click solution, this doesn't look too bad, but the one problem I have with it is this keyframe here that kind of makes it quickly bounce down. I just wanna delete this. And now the start will be just a little bit smoother. And now we can move on to the tools. Now we as artists are always looking to streamline our workflow. And that's why this plugin in particular is so incredibly beneficial. So now we can take a look into some of the tools that help us to streamline our workflow. So I might make the plugin window just a little bit bigger so you can visualize what's going on easier. Now, in order to find these tools, we'll just go under the tools section here and click on it. And these are all the buttons that we're gonna be greeted with. So firstly, down the bottom, we have the track filter, and this is quite similar to what is already in the F curve editor. As you'll see, once we open up, we have all the different parameters that we can look at and edit. So I won't dive into these functions in particular too much. It is essentially there to save you from having to go in between between windows when it's all just in the one. So now let's take a look at these different buttons here. If I go back into our previous project where we have some animation here, and then I go to the very end where our keyframe animation ends, making sure that we have all our keyframes selected and then clicking the first button here, you'll see that it moves our keyframes to the start of our playhead, meaning our keyframe animation now starts at three seconds rather than at zero. So if I go back to three seconds and then click this button here, it'll move it back. So this first button here essentially starts the animation where your playhead is, and then this button here essentially ends the animation where your playhead is. So this saves you from the hassle of moving your keyframes around to try and get it to where you want it to start. And it's a super handy thing to have. And now if we select all of our keyframes and click on this button here, you'll see that it's called scale track. And this essentially means that you can scale the keyframes in any direction that you like. So let's say that I want our animation to take twice as long. So let's enter 200%, click OK. And now because we had our playhead here, the animation is starting way in the negative keyframes. So now if I go all the way back to frame zero, grab our keyframes and then click this button here, that fixes the problem for us. And now once I hit play, you'll see that our animation is a little bit slower than it was previously. Previously. And now lucky last, we have this little end button here. So now if I go back to our bounce project and let's say I start messing around with the keyframe. So I'll add a huge count, a very long decay and I click set bounce. But let's say I'm not super happy with how this animation looks. So if I go back into our tools, select all of our keyframes and then click this button, you'll see that it removes all the keyframes in between the first and last keyframe. So this plugin has a bunch of different use cases that'll definitely streamline your workflow and it is absolutely worth the investment. If you wanna grab it, just head to aescripts.com and then look for the motion manager. And it also has a super detailed breakdown of each of the functions for you. So if you're looking to make animation a little bit easier, make sure you go grab it today.